हेलो एवरी वन आई होप स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एट होम दिस इज प्रियंका वर्मा हेयर एंड वंस अगेन आई एम हेयर विद द वीडियो ऑफ इंग्लिश मलबरी ऑफ क्लास टू स्टूडेंट्स एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड द पोएम इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट वॉज द लिटिल प्लांट सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल मूव ऑन टू द न्यू टॉपिक द न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर टू द मर्चेंट्स पर्स सो टुडे आई विल टीच यू अबाउट दिस चैप्टर द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द मर्चेंट्स पर्स इट इज चैप्टर नंबर टू ऑफ योर मलबरी बुक सो विदाउट एनी डिले टेक आउट योर मलबरी बुक एंड ओपन चैप्टर नंबर टू I hope students you have opened this page page number 28 before telling you the story of this chapter i want to tell you about the characters the first character of this chapter is a merchant so we will read about the very first character of this story that is a merchant and he is very dishonest greedy and shady man the next character that comes after him is an old lady and this old lady is genuine honest and truthful the next character is queen and the queen is trustworthy wise and unbiased so students let's read the story the merchant's purse a student first of all i'll tell you who is merchant a person a man who sells things is called a merchant okay so let's start let us read a story about an old woman who found a purse at the market place this story about is about um of the merchant and an old lady so a rich merchant once lost his purse at the market place a poor old woman found the purse she opened it and saw that it had a hundred gold coins so students there was a merchant there was a rich merchant who went to the market and he had left his purse there a poor old woman found the purse the poor old lady had found that purse and she opened that purse and saw that it had hundred gold coins just as she was wondering whose purse it was she heard the uh, the merchant shout a reward i'll give a reward to anyone who finds my purse as she was thinking she was wondering that whose purse it can be she heard the merchant's shout a reward i'll give that person a reward who will find my purse now come to the next page then the old woman gave the purse to the merchant here is your purse she said will you give me my reward what the old lady gave the old lady gave that purse to the person means to the merchant and she was asking about her reward and she was asking Uh, uh, to him that will you give me my reward now reward said the merchant greedily counting his gold coins my purse had 200 pieces of gold you have already taken more than the reward go away and after hearing the words of old lady what the greedy man what the merchant said merchant said greedily what is a what is the meaning of this word greedily 
beta greedily means in a way that shows someone wants more and more of something okay so the merchant said her greedily that you have already taken more than of your reward then you go away i am poor but i am honest said the old woman i will go to the queen's palace and ask for her help and what uh, what the old lady replied him old lady said to him that i am poor but i am honest and i'll go to queen's palace queen's palace and i will ask for her help the queen called the merchant and listened to both sides of the story then she said i i believe you both the merchant purse had 200 pieces of gold this purse that the woman found has only a 100 pieces so this cannot be the merchant purse so what the queen said first queen listened both the sides of the story and then she said i believe you both i know that you both are right the merchant's purse had 200 pieces of gold what the merchant is uh, what the merchant told the uh, queen what what uh, he told the queen he told the queen that he had 200 pieces of gold in his purse and what the old lady said old lady said the purse which i have found only a 100 pieces of gold so what the queen decided the queen decided that this cannot be the merchant purse then the queen gave the purse with a 100 gold coin to them to the honest woman the merchant had nothing to say he knew that this was his punishment for being dishonest and greedy and what the queen decided to do queen gave the purse with a 100 gold coins to that old lady to that honest old lady and the merchant had nothing to say because she was telling lie she was greedy na as i told you uh, when i when i told you about the character merchant was very greedy and he was dishonest so he knew that this was his punishment for being dishonest and greedy and at last he came to know that it was his punishment for being dishonest so this is the story of this chapter i hope students it is clear to you now we will do the exercise that is given on the next page page number 30 so you open page number 30 so you look at exercise 1 that is quick answers fill in the blanks the merchant lost his purse at the market place so you write market place here next is the poor old woman found a purse it had a 100 gold coins next is the merchant said he would give a reward to anyone who finds his purse and the last is the old woman decided to go to the queen's palace and ask for her help so these are the answer of fill in the blanks you do this now come to the next page page number 31 now look at this exercise page number 31 match the two columns to show what people do a doctor what the doctor do means a doctor does treats us when we are unwell next one a cobbler cobbler makes and mends our shoes then it is a baker and makes bread and cake a green grocer a green grocer is a person who sells fruits and vegetables then it is a dentist and dentist takes care of our teeth and the last fireman puts out fire so you do this exercise also now come to the next exercise and this exercise is on page number 33 we use a before words that with uh, that begin with a consonant sound and we use n before the word that begins with a vowel sound so write a or n here a tiger then a book then it is an ostrich then an ant then a panther then an egg next is 
fill in the blanks using a or n ritu has an orange tree in her garden omar eats a banana every day we saw a camel and an elephant at the fair and the last is are you carrying an umbrella today now students come to the next exercise fill in a or uh, a n or da to complete the paragraph here my teacher gave me an eraser and a pencil the pencil was blunt my teacher gave me a sharpener i drew the picture of a cat and a mouse i colored the car i colored the cat brown and i colored the mouse gray i gave the picture to my grandmother so you do this exercise like this also and now come to the next page so look at this one punctuation here we will learn how we will use apostrophe s okay and where we use apostrophe s we use apostrophe s to show that something belongs to someone okay and apostrophe s is also called possessive s okay now look at the example first this cycle belongs to my father so how we will write it this is my grandfather's cycle means after grandfather we will put apostrophe s to show his possession clear this book belongs to the boy and this is the boy's book now come to the exercise look at the pictures fill in the blanks with the help of these pictures so the first one is this cap belongs to meera and the answer would be this is meena's cap or meera's cap next is this chair belongs to grandmother so it would be this is grandmother's chair next is this puppy belongs to ben so this is ben's puppy then these crayons belong to my sister so these crayons belong to my sister means these are my sister's crayons and the last is the tail of the peacock is beautiful so the peacock's tail is beautiful now students come to the last exercise of this chapter after that i'll give you the question answers as well as the word meaning here it is completing sentence a gold coin is bright yellow think of some other things which are yellow and write about them in the given space so the first three yellow things that i can see around me are sun mango and banana okay so you write sun mango and banana next is some yellow things that i can eat are banana and mango the name of a yellow flower it is sunflower and one of my favorite uh, favorite things which is yellow is mango so you do these exercises in book only now we will move on to the notebook work okay now look at the question answers of this chapter reference to context this work you are supposed to write in your notebook so first of all you will write class work then the merchant's purse and chapter number 2 here you will write today's date then you will write the heading that is reference to context and then first word and the last word the question is why did the old woman give the purse to the merchant so the answer is the old woman gave the purse to the merchant because she was an honest lady next question is what did the old woman want from the merchant so the answer is the old woman wanted reward from the merchant now question number c what kind of a man was the merchant so the answer is the merchant was dishonest and greedy now come to read reflect and write so these are the answers of read reflect and write 
how did the merchant try to cheat the woman so the answer is the merchant tried to cheat the woman by blaming her to be the thief of his gold coins now question number 2 is means question number 4 is what happened to the merchant at the end of the story one o is extra so you cut it okay what happened to the merchant at the end of the story so the answer is the merchant got punishment at the end of the story so question number 5 is the queen listened to both the merchant and the old woman what does this tell you about the queen the answer is we think that the queen was justice honest and kind and the last question is if you find something in a school and it does not belong to you what will you do so the answer we will hand it over to the principal once again we will hand it over to the principal so these are the question answers you do these question answers in your notebook in good handwriting and after doing your question answers in notebook you are supposed to write word meaning also of this chapter and it is given here from here you can copy the first word is merchant and the meaning is a man who sells things the next is purse purse means you can write bag b a g bag okay now third is given already that is wondering wondering means thinking now come to the next page the fourth one is greedily greedily means in a way that shows someone wants more okay till here you can write no need to write and more of something okay till here you can write in a way that shows someone wants more okay till here you will write next is stolen stolen means taken away okay so you can write stolen means it is taken away taken and then away that is already written here okay next is honest a person who tells the truth next is palace palace means a very large house you can write till here a very large house of queen or kings you can write but it is enough okay a very large house then next is dishonest dishonest means a person who says things that are not true means who speaks lies okay jo jhoot bolta hai who speaks lies or you can write a person who says things that are not true so these are the word meaning you do this these word meaning in your notebook and uh, now i'm going to stop my video and uh, till this exercise means uh, till the with all these word meanings we have almost completed our chapter number 2 now i will meet you in my next video till then do your work in good handwriting learn it well and take care bye bye